Alright, hi, hi, Killing Crickets, episode number 11, I'm John Caparulo. And I'm Brian Schnagen, hi. Good to see you, thanks for uh, joining us, we're, uh, um, we're gonna, we're gonna do something different tonight, we're gonna watch some stand-up comedy, and then we're gonna do some stand-up comedy, and we're gonna talk about it, um, but that's how that goes, we're here at Wise Guys in Las Vegas, as usual, um, uh, Brian again decided to wear a Star Wars related shirt. I, uh, um, it's, uh, <laughs> I gotta stay on brand. Hey, yeah. man, it's all good, man. No, but, uh, uh we're, um, we're, 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 yeah, so we're, we're, we're here talking comedy. I hope you guys will, uh, hope you guys will stay with us and enjoy it just like we do. And if you don't, hey, go fuck yourself. No, <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll be right back. Yeah, we got a lot, great lineup of guests. Stick with us. We'll be right back. Yep. More killing crickets. Yeah, uh, I yeah I'm not originally from Vegas. I uh, moved here about five years ago. It's a uh, it's an interesting place to live. <laughs> it's uh I mean it's just yeah I mean like cause if you, I used to come here and perform a few times a year, but when you live here, you got a lot more opportunity to absorb uh, the gross. <laughs> and, uh, I mean like when like when you drive when I drive here, like it's always amazing to me to see how many businesses are fucking naked. <laughs> Everything's live nude, live nude women, live nude dudes, live nude fucking Arby's. You know, it's like I, I don't know if I want that naked. I mean, I kind of want a fucking roast beef now, but yeah, I, uh, I want nudity fucking combined with that shit. I've always, I've always been jealous of people who have that option though. Like when just fucking all else fails, you just, you can fucking strip. <laughs> You know, because, like, I don't have that. I don't have that choice. Like, if I get to the point where, ah, nobody's laughing at my fucking jokes anymore, I guess guess I'll have to show them my balls. All right? I, 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 yeah. I couldn't imagine it. Yeah, I couldn't imagine getting naked and, and, and expecting a positive reaction from that shit. You know, I, uh... You know, like, well, I mean, like, I mean, because, like, I mean, like, dick pics are a thing. I mean, there's a name for it. So that means not just fucking weirdos do that shit. And, uh, I was like, I never, I could never imagine doing it, sending somebody a dick pic as a way to attract them. <laughs> it's like, my dick's always something I, you know, I'd want somebody to overlook. You know, it's like, <laughs> all right, let's get this out of the way. <laughs> But but remember, I'm I'm a nice guy. So yeah, I mean, there's that. Fucking. <laughs> uh... Guys, I finally did it. I quit my job today. All right. I finally got my foot in the door with show business. I'm in there. I'm stunt doubling for Danny Trejo in this new Machete movie. It's a rom-com, it's called Machete Goes Back to School. <laughs> you should go see it, it's great. This fool gets an education, fucks the lunch lady and kills the school shooter before he even gets to the building. That's right. All in 30 minutes, it's a short film. That's why I'm casted. Yes, you guys, a lot of people. Yeah. Champion. A lot of people tell me I look like Machete, man, and I'm like, nah, fool, you know that's not my real name. It's actually Box Cutter. So I'm the poor version. I'm the one that opens your Amazon packages when you're not home. It's easy. You can do that when you have the uniform on, you know? It's the same uniform I bought on Amazon just to hit licks. <laughs> A lot of victims in here tonight, it's okay. <laughs> Guys, Don Lemon from CNN and Tucker Carlson from Fox News both got fired on the same day. It's like a setup for the new Friday movie or something. <laughs> I just think it's a big distraction like to keep people from realizing that Bud Light was a piece of shit beer to begin with. <laughs> I don't care what nobody says, I, I support Bud Light, I still drink Bud Light. You know, ever since they put a trans person on the can, the price of beer has gone down by like two bucks. <laughs> you know, I get the three pack, the tall ones, it's not a tall boy, it's a tall girl. 
They should put that uh, trans person on the side of the gas station next to the prices so the gas can go down by a couple of dollars. Thank you. That's right, confuse the rednecks, make them boycott gas. Like, I ain't getting no pussy ass gasoline, I'm going electric. You're gonna see a bunch of Elon Musk cyber trucks with the Trump flag on the side of it. <laughs> so brave. You gotta forgive me, I'm a little high right now. My grandma gave me a tamale with DMT in it. That's right, your hair's not even green, dog. I'm just tripping right now. You guys like DMT? DMT nuts in your mouth? Cochino. My name's Mario, thank you everybody. All right, Mario Sanchez. What thank up? you for joining us on Killing Crickets. Killing. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're killing them. Yeah, it's just because, yeah. It's a, it's a thing, you know, especially when you're first starting in comedy, there's crickets and you gotta, you know, it, it's it's an expression I know we always used when I was first starting in comedy was, you know, if you had a shitty set, it'd be like, oh man, after that, it was fucking crickets. So it's uh, so we're killing them on here. Um, so you had a great set. Great tonight. fucking set, dude. I, I, I was on right after you. It was uh, so thanks for the fucking hard work that I had to do. I, uh, it was an uphill battle, but no, it, it was a really good set. I mean, it was you got them quick with the with the machete thing and everything like that. It's, uh, that was great. It was a good set. How long have you been doing comedy? Uh, I've been doing like right under two years, like a year and seven months. Okay, not, okay. not that long. Okay. What, uh, uh, where, did you start here in Vegas? Mm-hmm. Okay. I actually cool. started, my first set was here yeah. at this club, and then I've just been going crazy around town since. Right, 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 right. But I've, I've seen Mario since day one, and, man, he was good on day one, and he's just getting better and better. He's always writing. He's always working. Like, man. That's cool. That's cool. Wait, wait, did, so, wait, you were talking about on stage, did you quit your day job? Is, you, is, that, is that for real? Are you, uh, <laughs> are you still, I, 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 I get it, because I'm wondering, like, uh, uh, so what is your day job? I love to lie. Um, of course, I'm, we I'm, don't I'm, have to to yeah. some degree. I, mean, oh, I love it. They're like, I thought you quit like three weeks ago. I'm like, I did. <laughs> but I, no, I'm, I'm a truck driver. Truck driver, okay. Yeah, for concrete, all the construction in town. I yeah. got, I'm yeah. out there. I love doing shit like that. That's what. Well, my was uh, my day job that I you know ended up it ended up being like really my first like bit that I ended up doing that ended up getting me like a development deal and stuff like that was because I I used to. I hated like the idea of like waiting tables or or like the typical sort of you know pre show business jobs that people usually do because um, I wanted something that I never had to work at night because I wanted to do comedy at night and uh, I um, but I, I cut grass on a golf course in L.A. Uh, that was uh, and I ended up that ended up being a bit of mine that I ended up like getting they wanted to make a TV show out of it and it was like it's uh, um, so what I'm saying is like the uh, the the the, the your blue collar work is actually something that you can, you know, that you can use to take to the stage. Is that something that you've even given thought to, or is it just something that is just like you just go through and you use it to pay the bills? You get your eight hours in, and then you go think about comedy. I uh, actually a lot of the Tuesday nights tonight, I was able to go to a family member's house and shower because there's a lot of nights where I can't make it home. I live by the new Durango Casino way out there so mm-hmm. I, it just, just not worth the gas so yeah. I'll just come like how I am after work right, right, right. and I just got material for when I'm in my work uniform you know just my construction stuff truck driver stuff I I, I got some bits that I work on about it you know that's where I that's why everybody's confused like man you, you said you quit your job you know yeah, yeah. Like just random people will come up and ask sometimes like were you being serious I'm like no, like <laughs> yeah, I, mean, yes. I, was, I, I was with with the angle because I was such a fucking slacker at it anyway. Because I mean, my I was a part timer at a at a job where there were a lot of full timers, and you know, guy, it was a union job. It was a city nice. of L.A. Nice. You know, job where it's like even the part timers were technically we were in the union. I guess I mean, it's not like I you know, it's like, it's like <laughs> you went it, to the meetings. Yeah, I didn't go <laughs> to the fucking lodge or anything. You didn't know who the rep was. But, you know, like that was that was part of it. Was just like my whole. You know, I just, I looked at it as my, sort of like my approach to this ridiculous job, because I mean, it still came down to like, we just fucking cut grass and, you know, uh, we, we, you know, we, we, we kill bees nests and fucking catch gophers and shit like that. Like, so it was like, it was just sort of like a silly, 
you know, a menial blue collar job that didn't require a lot of thought, but it was also like a place where it was like, okay, I'm in an environment with a lot of characters and a lot of like, just, you know, it, it's just a lot of like, you know, plays, a lot of conversations and shit that happen in a job like that that you can end up making comedy out of. So, like Caddyshack. It is. It really is. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, uh, like, I, I remember I used to, um, you know, because there were times like where I'd be at work there, like, um, because you know, because it was a city of LA job as a municipal courses, and uh, they, you know, a lot of the people who worked there, they started working there because they ended up they got getting, felonies. They got community service. Yeah, they ended up having to work there because they were uh, like they got it was punishment, and it was like it really made me think. I was like, fuck, I <laughs> when your job is literally considered criminal punishment, it's really you should look for another line of work. But uh, <laughs> I remember I'd be there, but they would still have. You know, more people coming in who had to do community service, and uh, and it was funny because like all of them seemed to think that that's what we were, like we were a chain gang, and like they they would like we'd be out there working. Like I remember we were uh, edging a sand trap one day, and I'm out there with like you know a few of the guys who were they they called them court referrals, and uh, I'm out there with those guys and they're talking about whatever they did, and then they look at me and they're like, "So what'd you do to get in here?" And I'm like, I, I filled out an application, is what I said. Uh, yeah, this, uh, this fucking sucks, man. I don't feel safe right now, but uh, it was an uh, interesting job. Interesting job. Um, so, it, 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 did you always want to do comedy? Is that something you always thought you wanted to do coming yeah. up? Yeah, I always wanted to do comedy. I loved watching it as a kid, and then I uh, just didn't know where to start because I was just hardcore working my whole life, just 12, yeah. 12 15 hour days. Don't think about nothing else but work and family and yeah, yeah. exercise, and that was it. But I was always like, one day I'm going to figure something out and I'm going to go. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I've been unemployed since. <laughs> <laughs> I've been unemployed since. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's that's how it goes. That's how it goes. But, man, you're, get, cool. you're getting so good at this. Like, you got two applause breaks in that yeah, set. Yeah, man. You, you in a three-minute set, man. you got two applause breaks. Man. I mean, that's fucking great. Appreciate that. Like yeah, that man. was awesome. That was like really good set, brother. Wow. And, and uh, um, do you have do you have, uh, are you married? Kids? Anything like that? I have six baby mamas. You have six baby mamas. That's good right. for you. Well, I'm glad we I'm all glad get that, along too. Glad you're spreading the seed around. Do you really family. have six baby mamas? <laughs> yeah, one for each season. No, I only have one. How many seasons are there? Like, what are you talking like, about? I'm, Mexi- I'm, Mexi- I'm Mexican. There's two. I'm Mexican. There's two extra seasons. There's two there. Okay, got gotcha. Mayan calendar seasons. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, I, uh, I have uh, one daughter. Okay. Five year old and her mother were divorced, but we're homies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we just take care of our kid and live our lives. And that's cool. That's the main thing is my kid and comedy. That's it. Yeah. Because I can work. The rest of my life, no problem. But I take it serious. I That's do. Cool, man. I take comedy serious. I give up everything at one point, <laughs> and I was like, maybe I shouldn't do that yet. <laughs> Close. Yeah. But I mean, I still got by, and it's like, you know. And now I'm back on my feet again because I just started working like a month ago. I was yeah. unemployed for like six months. Really? And I was just going Uber, hard all over yeah. town. Uber, Uber Eats, selling blood. <laughs> I was going. <laughs> I was in it to win it, man. We'll cut that part out. No, <laughs> leave it in there. I want yeah. people to know. No, they're, they're, wait, that's cool here, though. Isn't that's it? classic. It's, it's, that's it's, classic it's, comedian yeah, stuff. That's, no, that's fine. Selling yeah, your man. plasma, baby. Yeah. That's, that's how we get by here in these Vegas streets. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, well, anyway, so yeah, I, I, wait, I thought you said selling bud. I gotta be honest. With you. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, you pointed to your veins, so I should have known. But yeah, I thought you said selling bud, which and then I was like, that's why I'm like, it's wait, it's legal here. Why would you need to do that? So anyway, um, the market's I flooded. Am, uh, I'm gonna get back to everybody when I uh, uh, become coherent again. Anyway, um, but anyway, it's good having you on. Thank you so yeah. much for uh, for joining Appreciate us. It was a really it was a great set, man. I mean, really, really I mean, Appreciate I don't know um, where that stacks up for you as far as because you've only been in a year and a half. Yeah. That's that that's a that's a that should be one of those sets that you you won't forget about very soon. That's a great set, man. I appreciate really that. Yeah, I've been working hard at it, and I'm just gonna keep going until well, I the, find what I'm looking for. The great for. thing you did really is 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 you hit them hard at early, and that's what really is the key. Almost really across the board, even for me, like where I you know when I'm headlining and I'm doing an hour plus set or whatever, if I don't get you know if I don't get the right. You know, if I don't start out right, I, it fucks my whole setup because it really is like it's almost like a triple jump where you're just like I have to get the steps down. And it's like if I don't start out right, whole thing's blown. So the way you came out and 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 just like that from the start, that really is 
something that you know it, it like to really it's an advantage if you're able to do that and it's a really uh, it's a great way to approach uh, comedy because it really it makes the rest of the set fucking downhill dude appreciate that yeah I've been trying to get it to where it's just like dum, 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 like a speed bag and that's what you, and exactly yeah. and that's what you did I mean, that was great that that's, was great that's, that's, really. the, that's like one of the goals is to be like a speed bag with the jokes and mm-hmm. the laughs and that's how I always looked at it I always looked at it like you know uh, like when uh, when Mike Tyson was, was you know in his, his prime you know the way you just sort of overwhelm somebody so fast like where they're just like you know uh, it, it, and that's what I wanted to do as a comic which is just like I mean, you just keep hitting, so it's like they can't even think between one tag and the next line and everything. It's just like they they don't even have time to go, wait, this isn't that funny. So <laughs> uh, it really does. It, it, it makes a big difference, man. Really I, tr- I try that, and then when that doesn't work, I go for the ear. That's, okay, that's, that's yeah, well, I mean, that's like later. Ear, that's that doesn't like work. When, when you know your beat. <laughs> that's, 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 later, that's, that's later in the sense. <laughs> Well, very yeah, cool, man. Well, thanks for joining us. Thanks yeah. for being on, and we'll do it again. We'll have I you on again for it. sure. Thank yeah, you man. Like I said, you're one of my favorite people. Like I've seen since day one. You're always getting better, and frankly, I think you're better than some of these people have been doing eight, ten years, man. Because yeah, you just you are putting in the work and like doing the writing and rewriting and just always getting tighter. And you're one of my favorite people, man. So I'm glad we got you on. Appreciate that. Yeah, man. yeah. Thank Good you, shit, brother. Thank I'll you, be John. right back with more killing crickets. Yep. Hey. Johnny because a John is a toilet and a man that picks up prostitutes. I've been mistaken for both of those things. So I can be called Johnny now. I'm 36, I'm married. I married a beautiful Mexican girl. Yeah! My friends think she married me for the citizenship, but I'm pretty sure she just married me because she's into fat guys. <laughs> Because us fat guys, we sweat a lot. You put us on top, we'll get you wet in more ways than one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like a waterfall coming down. Like, TLC would tell you not to chase that shit. You know, it's just like, have you ladies ever had an orgasm while getting waterboarded? No? Well, my wife has. She loves it. Plus... Plus, us fat guys, we make fun new sex positions. Like me and my wife, we don't 69 anymore, we teeter-totter. Yeah, yeah. She, she looks like one of those drinking birds. Just bruh, 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 bruh. Sound effects and all. Uh, I'm a big food guy. Uh, I like KFC, finger licking good, more like ass destroyingly delicious. Oh my God. Uh, my favorite restaurant now is 7-Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> I love those taquitos. It's nothing like getting fake Mexican food from a Muslim guy named Islam that screams, this is authentic. <laughs> I walked into 7-Eleven one day. I was like, hey, Islam, how you doing? He's like, not the best when nobody would listen. I was like, oh, gross. I'll grab two taquitos, please. And, and then he was like, sorry, sir, we're all out. And I was like, damn it. I guess I'll just get that Vegas Nights lighter and I'll be on my way. And he's like, what? And I said, the Vegas Nights lighter. And he's like, I don't know what that is. It's my first day. And I was like, what, on the job or in the country? You don't who the Las Vegas Knights are, man, what the fuck? He didn't like that, he was offended. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm a comic. Sometimes I tell jokes, sometimes they bomb. And then I was like, no, and I ran out of the fucking 7-Eleven. I, I felt terrible about that, you guys. I know what I did. I know, I, I told my buddy Christian that story. The only thing he took out of it was the guy's name. He was like, why would his parents name him Islam? And I was like, what does it matter? He's like, I just think it's weird that his parents would name him after their religion. And I was like, yeah, Christian, <laughs> super fucked up. <laughs> Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Here, I got 30 seconds left. I'm gonna give you some dark jokes. You know that uh, that Nirvana comes from Seattle and Starbucks comes from Seattle? Yeah, I find that a funny coincidence because every time I go to a Starbucks, I'm gonna shoot myself in the head with a shotgun. Right, right? Because it smells like teen spirit in there. I'm gonna end it off with this joke. It may seem dark, but give it a sec, it's not that bad. What does a Black Lives Matters protester, an LGBTQ advocate, and a couple homeless guys have in common? They're all fighting for change! All right, welcome back to Killing Crickets. We have Johnny Pogo. Yes. Thanks for being on. Hey, thanks for having me. We, 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 just, we just met you tonight. Actually, we were in here getting set up for this, and uh, I was like, wow, somebody's killing out there. And I, uh, 
I, I, I popped out there and I saw the last part of your set and it was uh, great stuff, man. Shit, you're from, thank you. Uh, thank you. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Calgary, Alberta. Okay, okay. How long have you been doing comedy? Uh, about six years. About six years? Six okay. Years, yeah. Okay, well, I, I, I would say... <laughs> that's that's surprisingly short, uh, actually. It's, uh, oh, thank you. It's very thank cool, you. man. You're really uh, really strong comic. Really, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of energy. Did you? Did, can I ask you? Did you do well the first time you went on stage? I did not. You didn't? I did not. I, I chugged the beer. I got people cheersing me for that. Okay. Uh, I did a lot of ass jokes, like just straight yeah. up talking <laughs> about my hairy ass, and it was horrible. Uh, uh-huh. I've recorded the set. It's awful. It's really? Awful. Yeah. I just. I, I mean, can't even watch it. did you think you did well then? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, because I, you know, I'm just. It just seems like with, with uh, you seem like you have a natural um, delivery stage presence. Just sort of, you're a funny guy, and Thank you, you just, I, I think you know, I just, it seems like. You're the type of guy that probably went on there the first time. I mean, you always have to get better yeah. and polish and get things. But, you know, it just seems like you wouldn't have struggled too much, I don't think. I mean, it, it wasn't you know. terrible. It's not yeah. like I bombed or anything, but I just compared to... I have high standards for myself. Of course. Yeah, right? of course. And, and like, compared to what I do now, I, I don't think I did a good job. But right. obviously I did good enough at the time that made me go, hey, I like this. I want to keep doing it. Mm-hmm. And it was also in a town of Lethbridge, Alberta, where they don't get a lot of comedy, so okay. I think the crowd was very <laughs> Was it a comedy club or like a bar? It was a bar. Okay. okay. Yeah, it was called The Owl, the Acoustic Lounge. So it was like a music bar that just happened to do open mic once they a had month. an open mic night. Yeah. What, it, it, oh, once in a while or once a what, week? Once a month. Uh, okay. It's still running. I just I got fired from a job, and I had nothing going for me, and I had always thought I was kind of funny. <laughs> So it's I always, tried it out. It's always the best circumstance to start comedy. Is when oh, for sure. Shit else going <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When mean, you hit rock bottom, yeah, there's no way to go but up. When right? you have other options, it's usually you're not you're not that funny. That's so, right. Yeah, That's it's, right. Uh, yeah. It's bad. Um, uh, what, I see you say you're married. Were you married when you started comedy? I was, yes. Okay. Wife okay. was very supportive. All right. All right. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Just, I, if, if we just met. Anything. I don't want to offend Anything. you. Yeah, yeah. You, have you always been a, 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 a fat comic? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, because it really... Because I... You talk from that perspective for sure. A lot, where you, yeah. you know, which it's it's great that you 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 embrace it and it's funny and it's like it's something that I've had to figure out. Right, right. I like to talk about joke. I started I started out. With You're a little more spelt. Right? I started You're a out. Skinnier uh, guy. Uh, I was well because I was a I was a skinny guy yeah, until yeah. I was thirty, and then my it was literally like like you, my. At thirty, my metabolism was like it like pulled the thing. Was like oh, this is my stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta get up and eat on your own from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always eaten calories. like shit. That you yeah. know, my exercise program is like, especially once I get into comedy. I had no reason to like go play right. basketball or anything. I, right, right. I, yeah, it was like I, I just yeah, I had my sort of my game that I played. When and, I uh, when I was twenty two, I was an offensive lineman. Uh, for Canadian football, okay, um, oh. team team called the Whatever. Prairie Thunder. I mean, same shit. <laughs> yeah, Just right, we're right. a little bit smaller, you got a wider field. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit bigger balls too out okay, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I was old line then. Like, so I was always big my whole life. I've never been. I, I the last time I was under two hundred pounds, I was probably like fourteen. Yeah, Maybe 13, 14, something so like that. So you were an old lineman for can, Canadian football at what level? Uh, I would be like right below university. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's cool, though, man. I didn't want to do university because I just I'm not going to make it, and I, I was also an alcoholic weed smoker. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know who it's said a, that. Yeah, but. it's a weird thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's uh, yeah. yeah. It, it, I, I like my drugs it too much. It's weird here. <laughs> I just said fuck it. I'm not doing this anymore. Can I swear? Is that? Is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. I, yeah. So I just I couldn't follow that path, and uh, I just just partied. Party hardy, and then when yeah. I turned thirty, like I said, I got fired, and I found comedy, and honestly, yeah. it, it was probably the best thing for me. Yeah, right. man, yeah. it's a great unemployment program. Man. Absolutely, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You don't have to tell the government <laughs> you're making money because everybody pays in cash under the table. It's it, nice. it, yeah. well, I mean, it's unlike any other uh, form of show business. Really, for you guys, like you guys started comedy in this the digital social era. media yeah. Yeah. era, like it was a thing. Because it, I mean, I started comedy in 1997, so it's like. That it, it, it didn't exist. I didn't right. even own a computer at the time. Like, and I mean, you know, by the time MySpace was the first thing that like came around, like you know, and it was just sort of this novelty thing. And I remember, I you know, like when we were on the the Wild West tour and everything, like they're like you know, we were basically being pressed to do it by like you know whether it was managers, agents, producers, whatever. They were like, oh no, you need to have a MySpace. And I'm like, for fucking what? And like I don't, I didn't get into comedy to type. I don't want to do right. this tonight. <laughs> and it really was, and it was sort of a thing. Like it's still always been a thing that it's like, 
it's this side thing that doesn't fit with what I signed up for. Honestly, Whereas, I hate it. You know, I, 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 that's what I mean. Like, I'm I, not funny on video. Like, I, I've tried... Like doing stupid skit videos, uh, yeah, and, yeah. and I'm not funny on video. Like I just, I'm, I don't know what it is. Right, right. If I'm shy in front of a camera, or, but like when I get on stage, I'm funny. When I'm trying to like record myself being funny, it's just not the same. It's well, the not thing the is, same it, it, it sucks too. Is like you know when you're you know when you start when you tour and headline and stuff like that. Like my wife's always like having to pester me about because when she manages me, so it's like she's always in charge of like getting my wherever you go. They always want a fucking promo video for sure. You know, come see me at this place or whatever, and like. I, I hate the idea of, you know, like, selling myself. Because I, you know, I'm not a big fan of me. <laughs> so it's like, for me to go, you should, oh, be. You should, should be. come yeah. out to the show because this is going to be really funny. I don't think so. I'm always thinking, like, man, you should probably stay home because I don't know. I might suck tonight. Right. Like, that's how I feel. <laughs> and it's like, it, it's so, it's just, it, it doesn't fit with who I am to be, to be like, you know, Shameless uh, self anything promotion. but self-deprecating. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. I, I, it just feels more natural to fucking, you know, insult myself than anything. So For sure. It's, it's, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it's a definitely a different... I, I've, I've said for a long time, like, I think that, um, you know, what I signed up for way back last century <laughs> uh, is, a, is a performance art. Right. And it has gradually bled its way into more of a social... Art yeah. form, which yeah, I mean, is, 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 is very different, yeah. 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 And uh, so it's a different, um, it, it's just a different landscape. And I can't imagine, you know, how different it would be to start out with that stuff all on the table, you know. And I don't yeah. know if my approach, I, it, it would have had to be somewhat different, I guess, if I had started well, and like, that had already been a thing before I signed up. But me up. now, man, I gotta be, I gotta be my own marketing person. I gotta be my yeah. own editor. I gotta be my own fucking sound engineer. It's yeah. like, yeah, I didn't want to go to college for any of this yeah. shit. No. And no. now I gotta I, worry about. Cuts and fades and wipes and... Yeah, and I, I learned Adobe strictly out of necessity yeah, of like, yeah. promoting my own shows. Because honestly, the best way I get paid in Canada is when I promote my own show. Yeah. And, and produce my own show. And, and then you get the ticket sales. Right? I mean, I love clubs. The clubs do well for you, but they don't pay a comic. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah. And we're also paid in Canadian dollars, which is like cents to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, we really have that, like... Your magazines are so expensive. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's all I ever see. Like, Jesus Christ. So much... Uh, always, but then it's cheaper for you in the long run, you know? <laughs> I, I hate looking at that where it's like nine ninety nine in Canada, $5 for Americans. Yeah. So I'm like, why is that? That's, <laughs> you know, like, because the beer is the same. Yeah. It's it's six dollars for a beer at this club. It's six dollars for a beer at any club that I go to in Canada. Wait, it's 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 three toonies. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did a uh, I did a just for laughs tour. Yeah. In '06, uh, it was because uh, it was like I did the festival a few times, and then I uh, it was like after I did the festival one year, they added me onto the to the tour. I, I think we did. I remember it was 38 days, and it was somewhere around like 24, 25 cities okay. across Canada. Yeah. So I got my fill of Canada for a while. Okay, it was good. like, I, you know, it was, uh, it just, it, you know, because a long tour like that, when I'm away from home too long, I get depressed. For sure. So it yeah. was, it, it was, uh, Canada, but, right? it, but, you know, but it, I mean, because they were always, they were always great comedy crowds. It was like the show was great. It was just the, you know, like fuck, I need to go home. What if I just you want to go back home and then come back and do the show? But it, it was this. If you it went was, to twenty four uh, cities, you went to some pretty crappy cities in Canada because we've got like ten good ones. <laughs> so then you got like fourteen, like little small towns yeah, of yeah. like just like backwards ass people living there. <laughs> it was, uh, there were a few. I mean, there literally were there were more than one hockey arena. Oh yeah, that yeah. We, we performed at like it was. Uh, you know, like where they set up the st- like the stage was on top of the ice. You know, <laughs> it's like yeah. it was yeah, it was nice. The room was cold. Oh, yeah. It was, oh, risk- God, was one hospital, five churches, and ten hockey arenas. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> but man, it was it was. Uh, it was it, well, yeah, dude, uh, you're you're one of the reasons why we do this podcast is to find people like you that you know are really funny that oh, I think you know yeah, help man, elevate. You're, you're, so. you're, uh, you're a you're a surprise treat for us yeah. tonight. So man, we thanks, thanks you, guys. Uh, no, thanks for having me on and. Uh, you know, if I if I can uh, come back, sometime. absolutely. Of course, yeah. we we love yeah. to have people back and everything like that. So you know, you, you're uh, definitely welcome back anytime you're in town. Uh, whenever my wife has a conference, I'll sounds good to me, man. <laughs> we'll put them up on the socials below. You guys, stick around for more killing crickets. We'll be right back. Have a good night, guys. Yeah, man. Hi, guys. Oh, my name is Brian Shannon. How you guys doing tonight? Good. Yeah. 
Guys, I'm going to tell you a little about myself tonight. I'm allergic to two things nobody ever believes I'm allergic to. The first one I'm allergic to is nicotine. People are like, oh, so you can't smoke cigarettes? And I'm like, yeah, I can't smoke this toxic substance that kills thousands of people a year. Oh, no! You know, it's like, yeah, it's not a big loss there. But the other one is latex. And nobody ever believes the latex. You know what I'm saying? Because what's the number one thing about latex, everybody? No, it's gloves, guys, gloves. It's a two-for-one thing. Come on, come on. But... I like where this crowd's heads at. This crowd fucks. I knew it. I knew it. I'm just saying. But, uh, but yeah, those gloves, guys. But you know, but the blades never believe it. You know, because they're always like, "Oh my god, bro, that's unbelievable." I mean, that's unbelievable. And I'm like, "Why is it unbelievable, Brenda? You're allergic to peanuts. We can't fly Southwest because you're worried about nut dust in the seats. You know, like that's that's unbelievable. You know, but like, but I can't be raw dogging all over town, you guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like. You know, like, if anything, this, 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 this makes me more worried about the STDs, the pregnancies, and the herpes, you know what I'm saying, guys? Yeah, like, but it's like, for me, like, so in my entire life, in every single first contact sexual situation, like, I have to stop everything and, and you know, have a whole discussion about alternative birth control methods. Because let me tell you guys, there's nothing a lady loves more than a presentation during sex, huh? Where's my presentation ladies at, huh? No, 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 well, it's like... So for me, it's like I gotta do it like we're at a restaurant, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, hi, I'm Brian, I'll be your server today, you know? Like, uh, I know you saw the specials when you came in, you can see on the QR code if you want, but uh, since the picture menu, I'm gonna give you a little picture menu so we can go through the options so you can see what we got here today. So if you look here on the front, uh, we have uh, the, uh, the, 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 <clears throat> the sheepskin condoms, which is a very good choice, you know what I'm saying? Because they're all natural, organic, sustainable, available in free range or farm raised, your choice. <laughs> and it's really good if you've ever had a fantasy about having sex in like a Greek butcher shop, you know what I'm saying? That's the one for you, that's the one for you. Uh, and so the other ones, they're, they're a latex alternative condom. And you know, they're good, they work all right, but they run really loose. So if we use those, you will fun, find one inside you later. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But, uh, but if you flip over to the back, we got a lovely selection of a female condom. So you guys like the female condoms? Yeah, if you're unfamiliar with what that is, it's like basically we take a lubricated wet bag and we like shove that shit inside you, and then I then I have sex with that bag. Okay? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, so I'll just leave you the menu here, I'll be right back, and then I'll get your order, okay? I'll just get your drinks and appetizers and I'll be right back, you know? Then after that, dude, I have to like go and open this drawer of shit by my bed like I'm a goddamn CVS pharmacy and be like, what you need? I'm a plan B, Depravera, I got all that in here, you know? Let me tell you, like, make sure we got that plan B because most of the shit in this drawer does not work very well. So, but that's my time, you guys. I'm Brian Shenanigan. Thanks so much. All right. So, good set. I, good I, set. Liked, I, I thought your yeah. set was good. It yeah. was, uh, uh, did you get everything done, though, that you wanted to? Not at all. Okay, I thought so, because no, you were with the I anime was, thing. Because I was going to do that, but, like, I... The person I like I the to, condoms bit, by the way. Oh, I, no, I, that's, 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 that's one of, like, that's... It. And, that's funny. That, and that is, like, a seven-minute bit, because I have all these other examples and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. That's one of my better bits. Honestly, I'm surprised I haven't done that one at Kimmel's. Because that's one of my better bits. But okay, it's just like, okay. but it's been so long I did it, I missed a tag. And I'm like, I can't remember what this word is here. <laughs> but I was going to do the anime, but the person I was following just did not do very well. Well, that can happen. Yeah. yeah. And it was so, like, but I, it, but I also it, was like, it was like such a different vein and all that stuff. And I'm like, I'm like, I don't want to talk this anime stuff right now because it is not going to work. Like, I can tell that I'm like, this is just not going to fly at all. And I'm like, you know what? I haven't done this bit in a while. I kind of want to bring it back a little more. And so I did that. And it I mean, landed. I, you know, I don't know. For me, it's like, I, I, and maybe it's just because, I, you know, I work differently than you. But I, I, I've had that a lot of times where it's like, I can't really say, okay, I'm practicing this bit so that I can do it at this other show mm -hmm. like because it really comes down to like you know I, I feel like the audience can sniff out when they're being used as a prop and and that you know they're oh you're just practicing this thing that or like when I try to rehearse a Tonight Show set or something like that at the comedy store and it's like why are you not cussing because <laughs> <It's like, laughs> it, it doesn't fit there and it just feels like why are you censoring yourself for no reason so but I, so is it the is the bit about anime then is that what is well, it because it because i start with like it's a front end is squid game joke so it's like i get that squid game and i talk a little bit about that like who knew we all love korean dramas you know and like mm -hmm. go through all that and then i go like into talk about subtitles and subtitles leads me into anime 
because all anime, good anime, you watch anime, you read the subtitles, you don't watch the American it, versions, I, you know. I, I think that's, you know, anywhere except the anime convention, that's a tough one to do in yeah. a three-minute set, man. Yeah. Because, I mean, because you really have to, if you're going to just do that bit, you're going to have to surround it by a, with, with a whole bunch of other shit so that... For the people who don't get it or who might tune out of that, they're gonna yes. they're just they're gonna because yeah. because even my Dragon Ball part of it, like I boil it down to like the like the base of the story. Like yeah. it's a thousand episodes. I don't expect anybody to know the canon, you know. I, so it's no, just I, I sure don't. So, so but yeah. you just break it down like oh the main character he's alive, then he died, then he was alive again, then he had kids, and then they all died, and now they're back alive again, and they're still going, you know. And it's like it's like this. Uh, wait, wait, is okay is. I, you know, for for the for the layman here, is is anime? I know anime is 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 Japanese. Mm-hmm. Is it just that? Is it? Uh, I mean, it's a cartoon that's more uh, that's got more adult themes yeah. or grown up themes. It's more serialized and it's yes. more dramatized yeah. instead of being funny it's or got whatever. Blood, you know? It's got gore. It's okay. got sex, especially in the Japanese and especially Dragon Ball, because like Robin, she's she, her kid has discovered Dragon Ball. Yeah, and the American version, they took so much stuff out. Okay, that the guy's main teacher is like a lecherous guy that loves panties and like all the even Pokemon. In Pokemon, even in the Japanese version, a lot more sex stuff. Really? Yeah. Wow. A lot more like 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 chasing women and loving panties and got to see her panties and stuff like that. Like Shocking. it's just like Let's that. Let's see. See yeah. what see what atomic bombs do to people. <laughs> that's, that's, that's fucking terrible. Oh that's man! A... And there's some deep porn. You know the tentacle porn, all that kind of stuff. That's all subsets of anime. That's, that's all in there. That is that's all creepy. in there. And, you and really got to... I mean, at what point would you know that about yourself? And that cap, pe- you're into tentacle people porn. People in Japan marry anime characters. They marry... They, they call them waifus. They marry... It's a virtual person that they marry. Some This dude married a trading card in Japan. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's... They, 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 they go all in on it. But on the flip side, like I said, I watched Dragon Ball for 25 years now. Since I was a kid. You know? Really? I've watched this other show, One Piece... They're in like episode nine hundred and eighty three, and it's not that good anymore. But I'm pot committed. You know what I'm saying? Like right, I'm this right. far yeah, in. They, 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 I gotta see if this guy becomes the pirate king. You know what I'm saying? It took me like, until I moved to Vegas to like really, uh, you know, I, I kind of uh, other than American Dad, that's only been the, it's been the only like animated show that I've still kept up with newer episodes. Like mm-hmm. even The Simpsons, after so many years, I just. You know, I, I I totally mean to go back and re and watch the ones I've missed, but it's I, I even Family Guy even and as much as I love those shows, I just kind of once I moved to Vegas and I, I I you know I don't know why, but it just I, I I sort of broke off from them long enough that I stopped watching them consistently. I still watch all the old ones that I have stored on my you know my iTunes or my laptop and everything, but it's like I yeah it's, I've never gotten into that. So I yeah it was. Uh, um, but but like I said, and I don't think I will after this but conversation. It's, so but I, it's, a, it's a niche. It's a niche thing, and so it was like I kind of just was like I can't. I knew that if I did that, I, I wouldn't get the work out of it. I wanted. I, 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 yeah, I don't think you. I don't really think you'll. You would have gone into what, what is it Sunday or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah, your Any brunch, off. your brunch Any time off. fucking comedy show. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think it, it would. Uh, I don't think you'd feel any better about it going in after running it. At a, a, another show tonight, yeah, so yeah. I think you're 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 just as well. So yeah, <laughs> yes, I think you'll be all right for my solid brunch and show coming yeah, up. Yeah, but, so, uh, it, 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 but overall, like I said, even with me having those couple flubs where I couldn't really remember the old bit, and like honestly, that's the first time I think that's happened to me in a long time. I, I, I like I uh, like the lambskin kind con- of. Oh yeah, that, that was that was good shit. I, I like anything graphic like that. It's pretty funny. But the point is, like I said, I because I, I know all the alternate work because I'm allergic to latex. I mean, so it's just one of those conversations. How did you like, find out you were la- allergic to latex? When your junk be burning, you go ask somebody. You know what I'm saying? Oh like, right, so there was. Was like yo, so it was from yeah, a condom, yeah. really. Because oh, okay. my whole life, because it got worse as I got older. Because you know, even all the times I was at the doctors and stuff, I didn't really have any reaction. But then I, I never was really that sick. I never broke a bone mm-hmm. until like you know, deep high school. So it was just one of those things where I was like in college, and it was like, you know, I'm so. Which you're allergic to? Would your skin break out or something? Is that what it yeah, is? Or, it's like, I don't know if you like started sneezing hives. from. <laughs> But I, but I have to tell the dudes at the ER even because then they get the shit that's not latex. Yeah. Because, I mean, they have a whole, you know, other section of stuff for that. But Jesus. Yeah, I don't have any, I don't think I have any allergies like that. I don't think I do. 
Uh, if I do, I just power through them. So, but it, but I but I feel like it's. I mean, a, good... a lot of things give me diarrhea, but I don't know if it's an allergy <laughs> or if it's just a poor diet, something like that. I don't know. But, but I like because it's a good bit because it's it's it tells about me, and I really am allergic to nicotine too. Right. So well, it's yeah, like, so that's that, a good thing. I mean, yeah. it's it's yeah. It's, no, and uh, I and I found that one out in high school when I was three cigarettes into a pack yeah. and woke up in an ambulance. I'm just allergic to smokers. <laughs> in general, all right, yeah, yeah. You smell like a fucking chimney. Go away. It's fucking gross. With your tarred lips. Ugh, yeah. yeah, it's just nasty. Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah, I don't understand why that's fun, but you have it. But overall, I, I thought they liked it. I thought it was a good set. They seemed happy. Yeah, and, you know, it's like I said, it's one of those ones where I'm like, oh, now that I kind of brought it back, I, I, like I said I do think I'll throw that on the Tuesday show and and see how it does, especially the extended version of it. So it's, uh, I think it's, I think it's gonna be good. But all all together, I think though. Uh, success. Yeah. Oh, it, uh, yeah. They were on board and I mean, it didn't suck. You had a good set. Yeah. No, right. a good set. So, yeah. They, in take the that. End. Take that with you. You're yeah. Good. In your face. In your face, anime fans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take that. Dragon Balls. <laughs> you take I don't Dragon fucking balls. Know. I, Yeah. Who cares? But I, All right. Well. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll be back, we'll be back. Uh, with more crickets killing them. Killing them. Yeah. yeah. We'll be right back. We're gone. Jack, man. <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Oh, you always do I don't know why. Because me and Greg Proops, Greg Proops, I went on tour with him in Canada, and uh, we we toured through Canada. He did the best Wolfman Jack ever, and he would just he would fucking break me up with that every time. He would go, it's Wolfman Jack, baby, and I just I would fucking fall out. I fucking so yeah, Proops. You're probably not watching this, but if you do, I still. I I yeah I still remember that fun. I, I love a good Wolfman man. impression, man. It's great. It's yeah, so, man. But it's, but, not, uh, it's not timely for the yeah, youth. Yeah, man. My, but mine was <laughs> shitty. And uh, anyway, uh, so that was uh, so eleven episodes in the mm-hmm. can. Yeah. Um, I uh, appreciate you guys joining us again for Killing Crickets. Uh, we'll be back with uh, probably the uh, number twelve next time. So mm-hmm. uh, check that out too. So. But yeah. So. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, please follow the comics that we've had on the show. You know, it really helps them out. Uh, follow us, it helps us out. Uh, tell your friends. Um, you know how the internet works. Follow us. Come on, what are you doing? You're here already. You probably already follow us. Tell your friends. Can we go now already? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to lie down for a while. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us again. Killing Crickets. See you next time. Peace. Peace.